This is Twit. What'd you say, John? I Listen. said I haven't been anywhere. Li- <laughs> <laughs> I've been everywhere. It's time for our travel segment, Johnny Jet, who helps us travel better with technology. JohnnyJet.com slash newsletter. My good friend Will, his wife, Erica, their five children, the nanny, the nanny's boyfriend. They've all flown to Hawaii against the wishes of the governor. <laughs> um Governor Ige says, don't come to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I actually wrote a post uh, uh, last week saying, you know what? It's not a good time to go. I think I even mentioned it on here. We did talk about it. But then I wrote a post saying 10 reasons why to postpone. Number one is because the hospitals are full. Number two, the governor tells you not to go. When the governor tells you not to go, he might not want to go. And then the other reasons were, you know, the locals really don't want you there. You're, it's expensive. You can't get a car rental. But I have to say... And, of course, we were there uh, in July. Uh, But I have to say, nobody was hostile. Nobody was mean. Everybody was happy to see us because they'd been closed for so long. That might have changed by now. I don't know. Well, I haven't been there lately. But, you know, things are changing rapidly. And they're worried about having their own health care. You know, you can't get into the hospital if... If you have a heart attack, if you're a Hawaiian, because some tourist who's unvaccinated is in there. I've had that experience. Spent some time in the emergency room uh, recently uh, because of COVID protocols, because of beds taken up by uh, COVID patients. Don't have a heart attack. Don't get sick, right. folks. Stay healthy. Um, right. Boy, it's a mess. But, we, we, I also, thought we but, were out of this. This is what's so frustrating. And this is why my friend is going to Hawaii because he booked this. He thought like everybody did. Hey, right. it's going to be OK now. Right. And it's not. Well, it's unfortunately, it's it's time to cancel that trip to Hawaii. They're not going to put any mandates in, I think, because of legal reasons. But. They just don't want you there, and you're not going to get the true Hawaiian experience, so why be there? There's other places you can go if you want to go. Where would you would uh, go? What, would you stay in uh, the continental United I've, States? I mean, I've been, telling this, I've been telling people this. This is the year to stay in the U.S. just because, you know, if you test, if you test positive outside of the U.S. because you come back into the U.S., everyone has to get tested, regardless if you're American or if you've been vaccinated. And I read horror stories all the time about people who get stuck Lisa's really worried. As you know, we're, we're, we still have a Mexico trip booked in late October, and she's really worried. We, it's not about going there. She's worried she, she'll get tested and have to stay in Mexico right. because she can't get back in. So what are but you, if you quarantine? Don't have a job and- here or kids here, you know, a lot of resorts in Mexico are actually paying for your quarantine uh, if you test positive. Okay. But you can't leave the room, but they'll pay for your quarantine. They'll pay for the room. You won't be stuck with a huge bill like I just read some Not, California couple did in yeah, Italy. Yeah. Um, but so that's one of the things. So, also, by the way, regarding uh, Hawaii, a lot of locals in Maui are upset because there's a huge water shortage. Water shortage. You heard my East Coast accent. Water. And, water. Um, they, uh, they're having uh, – they're, it's dry. They have red flag warnings on the leeward coast of all the islands. Definitely. It's really dry. Gosh, you wouldn't but, think of that about Hawaii, would you? No, but I got a couple things for you. It's some good news. Oh, please. Qantas actually says, Qantas, which is the Australian airline, they say they might start flying internationally in December. Believe it or not. Everyone was talking about July of next year or even late next year, but now they're talking about December. To, they can uh, talk, Johnny, they can talk all they want. I know. I'm waiting till November to hear what they say. We don't Agreed. know, do we? You, you don't. Uh, some bad news, Alitalia, which is the Italian carrier, is ceasing operations on October 14th. What? Forever? Yes. Yeah. They're going they're out changing. of business? Alitalia, out of business. Oh, um, that's sad. They're changing, they're, 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 I thought they were all run by the government. They are. So they're changing the name to um, ITA. And so, But if you have a ticket that's for after October 15th, you know, you're going to need to call up. They've canceled it. My friends are in Venice right now. Mike Elgin and his wife, Amira, are in Venice. It's, I have to say, it's beautiful to see the St. Mark's Square empty, <laughs> just them. But uh, they, they were able to stand in front of the Mona Lisa with no tourists. That's nice. Right. But, but so p- for people who are planning their European trips, keep in mind, especially for next summer, Austria and Croatia just came out to, or this week saying that you now need a new vac- vaccination requirement where you've had to have the shot in the last nine months, your second shot. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the new thing. 
And Switzerland actually says they've had it for a while, yeah. for a year. Um, they say you haven't had a, had a shot um, in the last year. But, you know, this is going to change because people are learning all about the vaccine, how long they, they last for. They, it could change. So whenever you're tra- planning on going outside of the country, keep reading those requirements of the destination because they change. Everything is so fluid. You just don't know what the requirements are going to be. And you don't want to get you don't want to land there. And they say, sorry, you got your shot. 10 months ago, that's not good enough. Um, you got to go back home and you got to get back on a plane and pay for it. Yikes. So Yikes. keep that in mind. Also, the big news is supposedly on Monday, the EU is going to make a big announcement restricting uh, Americans to the EU because our cases here are so high. It was leaked by two diplomats. It hasn't come out publicly so, yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we so uh, we may not be able to go to the EU after this well, week? Well, Reuters is rep- reporting it. And um, so, so it's right back to where we started, kind of. But really. some countries, you know, they didn't even listen to the EU recommendations. So like Greece, they were still allowing Americans in even before the EU officially did. <laughs> the, the, so I think it's going to be up to the countries. Yeah. But keep that in mind. We'll see what happens on Monday. Wow. Wow. Yeah. But I also have a tip for you. I wrote a story that was actually picked up and did really well called Nine Tips for Avoiding COVID-19 While Flying. Oh, good. What? Tell me. How? And uh, So number one, you know, I say this is the time to splurge for first class. You know, you can buy an upgrade for cheap these days. You can use your miles for cheap. Um, I just booked a ticket to go to New York, 30, 30, 25,000 miles of business class lie flat seat that seat is normally 80,000 miles you could also pay $800 instead of the normal $1,500 but uh, it'll even be cheaper sometimes they'll even offer an upgrade so why is first class better besides this you know fancy well because there's less people around you Okay. But you're still on the same plane with everybody else. You're on the same plane, but the, all the planes have HEPA filters, which is hospital so it's not quality. The, it's not the processed air you have to worry about. It's like the guy next to you breathing on you that you have to worry Correct. about. I mean, that's why I try. You, if you can fly first class between New York and L.A. where it's just one one seat, then the aisle, then another seat. Yeah. And you're golden. But right. I always try to book the last row of that cabin as well, as long as there's not a bathroom right behind it. So always go online and find out what the seating configuration is, where the bathrooms are located. Obviously, check in online. Try not to check a bag so you can just minimize going to the airport early and sticking around, especially at the baggage claim. I mean, baggage claim is just full of people. There's no filters there. And, um, <laughs> you know, there, there's a whole bunch of tips. But uh, get clear. You really want to get to the front of the security line. We TSA went to, pre-check. We went to an outdoor concert last week, and uh, they said if you get clear and you can upload your vaccine card to clear, and then you get a nice clear QR code with your ID and everything. We're already clear members, so it even knew who I was. That was kind of cool. That made it fast so just, and easy. Did you use QR code or do you scan your eyes too? You had to scan your eyes, I assume. Well, I was already a member, so I didn't have to do anything. Okay, I just had to upload airport, my you scan your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this for this that you just show them and it, it said it had my picture and the QR, QR code that I have verified with with clear that I had the vaccine card and that was all I needed, which was great. Yeah, a lot of stadiums and arenas are now accepting yeah. clear. They're now partners with them. How, so how much is clear? It's, it's like so sixty it's, bucks it's a year. One hundred and seventy nine dollars a year. But Ow. if you have a United freaking flyer number. Or Delta. You don't have to be an elite member. Just have a number. Just sign up. Takes two minutes. You'll cut that down to, I think, $99 okay. or $109. That's not bad. Okay. And so year. it's not just, and they're smart because not a lot of travel going on. They made it for other things too, which is, that's. Well, they were doing that before the pandemic. Yeah. They were they were allowing it into our concerts and uh, stuff. That's nice. Stadiums. Johnny so Jet, read his article, Nine Ways to Avoid COVID When You Fly. And of course, all his other articles at johnnyjet.com. Follow him on Instagram and Twitter. There's always great stuff from Johnny. And don't forget his newsletters, lots of them. They're all free and they're really, really useful. Mr. Johnny Jet, thank you so much, sir. Safe thank travels. You. Thank you. At least to the living room and back. Ha, 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 ha.